hey you guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to be making a charcuterie board for the kids i just want to go ahead and give a disclosure i don't know what i'm doing i was gonna look at videos on google but then i just started doing stuff off the top of my head and i'll show you guys how it turned out and i'm gonna give you guys a haul of all the snacks that i did pick out for this board hopefully i'm even pronouncing it right but anyways um let's just hop right into this video so guys as you can see i'm going to get right into showing you all the items that i did purchase in order to achieve my charcuterie board of course you have the option to mix and match with things that works for you so of course you can hook that up so let's just get right into assembling our board and pretty much i kind of looked at some pictures at first for some inspiration but then i was like girl you're creative your mind is going to think of whatever type of formation you would like everything in so pretty much that's what i did on this board that's what you guys can do on your board make it fun try not to make it so serious and it's no such thing as right or wrong when it comes to this board because it's your own personality and it's your own type of snacks that you prefer so you're gonna see me a lot placing things in one place and then later you may not see it in that same place anymore because I kind of played around a lot with different places, different locations, um, different designs, different shapes I wanted to create with the vision that I kind of saw in my head. So that's why you guys see me changing out the board a lot. And I just want to say these apples, the apples, the apples, they gave me such hard time. And if I had a recommendation to avoid going through what I was going through, I would suggest to get an apple cutter. That way your apples are all pretty much nearly the same shape and they kind of lay the same. But when you're cutting the apples by hand, it can easily be hard to stack them in whatever design you're choosing if they're all different shapes, sizes, and everything of that nature. So definitely recommend having an apple cutter when you're creating this board. If you don't, just do the same design that I did and I'm, I'm kind of trying to configure it in a round shape so I can be able to sit the caramel right beside it because of course you're dipping the apple and the caramel together so that worked out perfectly eventually once my brain kind of got it together I dumped over my caramel at the end of the video I am going to take all of the bowls and warm them up the items that does need to be warm I'll go ahead and get those popped in the microwave right before we get ready to eat that now as you can see i'm going to be adding some oreos like i was stating you want to mix it up you want your salt flavors you want your fruits you want your vegetables that's how i notice most of the charcuterie boards are but you know of course do you boo boo um and now we're going to go ahead and fill up us a bowl with assorted fruits the fruits that i chose were blueberries blackberries and strawberries and then we're going to continue on and add us some tortilla chips um you're going to eventually see that those tortilla chips will not be staying there i ended up deciding to change out the configuration of that and then i'm adding on some nice little cheddar checks mix and then we're going to get us some popcorn and just remember guys you won't need much of these snacks so i was able to make about three or four charcuterie boards with the amount of snacks that i purchased i definitely did overdo it at the store so if you want to avoid that mistake and you're only making it for a small group of people do not buy as many items as i purchase and you guys see the little mini cheesecakes i thought these were absolutely perfect i picked those up from aldi mostly most of um all of the snacks that you're seeing on this board came from aldi and if it did not come from aldi it came from walmart but the cheesecake bites were delicious and they were the perfect size and they were already um wrapped in individually wrapped so that was just perfect and i thought about putting the pickles on the board then i also thought about the juices and i was just like you know what we're just gonna put it 
on the board because at first it was kind of irritating me having so many um circles and items um and squares and different shapes all over the board but i also didn't want too many items laying flat so i did add bowls and um the little sauce container just for um you know the look the aesthetics so i at first i thought i was adding too many circles but it turned out perfect because as you can see i just slanted them straight across the board and i'm just adding my assorted trail mix along with a couple of turkey and then i did go ahead and add some cute little kinder joy it's the little chocolate toy that comes with like a surprise um toy in the inside my oldest daughter have been asked have been using those since she was a little girl and i decided to add a little treat for the kids because like i said i did want to make this for my kids so i wanted it to be very kid friendly so when they finished majority of the board they did finish off by eating their kinder joy ball Finishing off this board with all of my veggies. Um, my veggie choices were some mini cucumber slices along with some carrots. And then lastly, it's going to be some celery. Um, at the bottom of the board, I am going to be adding some little um, tangerine slices. But you won't be able to see them as well as most of the items that I have placed on the board during the video. But I definitely added those at the bottom. But you will see when I show you the finished look of the final board. But it's pretty much has come to an end. This is pretty much kind of how it turned out. And I have made two more boards since this day because I'm absolutely obsessed. And I make them look different every time. Maybe I'll go ahead and insert some pictures of the other ones that I've made. But that is pretty much it for this board. finished making the charcuterie board and I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how it turned out because we finna eat eat eat, eat. eat. this is how it turned out This is the finished result here. This is the finished result, you guys. All right, you guys, that is pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, of course, as always, give this video a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, and of course, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video.